Hello, and welcome to the channel. Another day, another update for Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. There will be a link down in the description box if you want to read this at your own leisure. The main point of these videos is to even let you know that an update is out. It's not because I don't think you, can, you can't read on your own. So let's get right into it. It brings us up to E, which I think is early, 1.0.2. Some of the crashes from older saves are fixed and these saves can be used again especially caused by fencing stolen goods and rival gang leader quest shame on you enabled steam cloud saves that's huge a bug that was preventing some players especially windows 7 users get the fuck up to speed we're on 10 now from logging into the multiplayer lobby has been fixed there may be further issues in this regard we're investigating the matter or you can update to 10 and yes i'm being a smart ass get over it fixed a crash that occurred when entering a custom battle. Various localization fixes, some texts are only in English due to lacking localization tags. Now they can be updated by translators and will be added to the game soon. Well, I almost lost where I was there. Some variable texts were not shown correctly, some of them are fixed. More will be fixed in upcoming patches, some Turkish translation corrections and typo fixes fixed an AI-related issue that crashed the game, fixed an AI calculation error on aiming ranged weapons against mounted enemies, fixed launcher not being visible for some users, or errors and crashes after changing language in multiplayer, fixed encyclopedia faction, part of crash on creating player faction. Hero crafting stamina is now saved. Loading does not restore stamina. Localized text manager does not crash on invalid source file. Fixed a crash that occurs in some towns when we try and take a walk. Or that occurs during a conversation with various characters. Or that occurred after activating the fencing stolen goods quest. Or when creating a new hero. Mainly happened when opening a new campaign or having a baby. Uh, or a crash that occurred when the headman needs green issue timeout. Or that occurred when a player clan gained renown while the player character is a prisoner, probably from all that shit he was fencing and he got caught. Or a crash that occurred when a quest timeout in the quest manager. Or a crash that was caused and initiated by initiating peace barter with heroes that do not have parties have been fixed. Or crash that occurred when the player has created their own kingdom and the conspiracy progress quest starts. Added notifications to certain parts of the main storyline. Fixed a bug where using the random all prisoners button didn't give roguery XP. Removed ransoming prisoners trade skill gain. Decreased ransoming prisoners roguery skill gain by 40%. Uh, an issue with the third banner piece fixed. Party initialization in Radagos Hideout is changed to a more stable version. Fixed a crash that occurred when selecting your Breaking the Law option when the Family Feud quest is active. Don't ask me what that voice was. Fixed a quest NPC remains in the player's clan at the end of the Family Feud quest bug. Fixed quest NPC remains in the player's clan at the end of the Lord Needs Tutor quest bug. Fixed getting Family Feud quest NPC as a companion and progressing and rebuild your clan quest bug fixed a crash that occurred when Lord wants rival captured issue quest quest giver becomes a prisoner fixed a crash that occurred when trying to force village notables to give supplies slash recruits fixed a crash that occurred when a game that is saved during the extortion by deserters quest is loaded fixed a possible crash that might occur if the player loads a game that was saved during the following quests Merchants need help with looters. Escort merchant caravan. Locate and rescue traveler. Tutorial quest. Yeah, that bloody quest. I know a lot of people out there, including me, couldn't get the third one. The, the bandits got killed by somebody else. And then they wouldn't come back, the little bastards. Where was I? Oh, uh, travel to village. Again, tutorial quest. Or Istanius band banner pe piece. Arzagos banner piece. Sorry, all the words clunk together there uh, is not helping me players that are at war with minor factions will now be able to join kingdoms even if the kingdom is not at war with that minor faction fix the bug where war state with factions that have been destroyed was not being cleared a crash related to successfully making peace through barter has been fixed change strong smith perk description to controlled smith fixed a charm skill exploit which happens in marriage barter 
fixed a bug where companions were unable to be used after sending them to fix an issue. If you have some troops outside of a hideout, you're no longer taken as a prisoner anymore when you lose an encounter. Fixed a crash that occurs sometimes after a siege battle. After dying in siege battle. After go to defend in a siege. After trying to exit from a siege. Etc. Fixed a crash that occurred when the player tried to select and sell prisoners. Shame on you. Fixed a crash that occurred when... I'm still trying to figure out how to sell my prisoners. Anyhow, that's it for the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And I'll make sure when you play the game. Oh, the game doesn't crash. You crash. You fall asleep. You smack your head off the keyboard. It accidentally deletes your game save. And you have to start all over again. And no, that wasn't supposed to be funny. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, I mean, obviously, that would be great now, wouldn't it? And if not, oh well, shit happens. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and I shall see you all in the next video. Bye now.